This is Static Attic, and we are pleased to welcome her pilots to the show. What's up, guys? What's, what's up? up? Oh, yeah. First, let's just go straight to the music. Yo, what's up, everyone? We're her pilots. Thank you to Static Attic Podcast, Greer Castle Recording Studio, Ryan, Lara, and Ben, Mark, and Nick Brown. This first song is called I Don't Think So. It's off of our new album called Big As The Sky. You can get it everywhere. It's the final track. Take your time, they say Sorry, Mark. It's called Cage's Crown. Where were you? Where'd you go? You're sitting in your car smoking weed. Oh, it's true. Ever part all with all these opinions that I didn't need. Set and change. That every girl has a broken heart Cause every time I wait, I let you down But that's okay, my cage is crowded When will I take advantage of your brown? Small I can wait for you to let me down Yeah, you do, yeah, you do of fools Point to say yeah, it's a zoo We're judging on your character I'm okay Right away Right away Cause every time I wait I let you down But that's okay I'm fucking around When I take advantage of your side face Fall like a break For you to 
It's called three to one. Well, Zach, Elliot, and Wayne, it's really good to have you on the show. Uh, of course, this is fairly early on in this new show, but I had you on the Hoodoo Music podcast before, uh, back when Her Pilots was first starting out. But now you've you've been around for a little while, and, and even with everything that went on in 2020, you 
put out a full length album. Why don't, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, Big as the Sky? Big as the Sky. Why? I knew the word sky was in it, but it, it just left my brain for like two seconds. Yeah, uh, it's something that we embarked on um, probably like 18 months ago. And we were doing it just, uh, you know, we, we all work full time. So you kind of have to just fit it in when you can. Yeah. Um, most of it was done with um, at, with Ryan Lara at, at his at his mom. He was living at his, his mom's crib for a little while before he moved into his place. And we did a lot of it in his bedroom. Um, it kind of added to the mood, you know, <laughs> it did. Um, and, you know, and he is he's great. He, he made us feel at home and and um, we had it finished. uh feel like last august uh can't ex- i can't exactly remember the exact uh date range but a lot of things were going on and we decided just to kind of hold off on the release uh I, it's kind of cliche another now, but, covid you know, happening just, right another yeah i mean it was just uh disruption it was a lot of disruption yeah. a lot of people were all over the place a lot of fear and and a lot of uh disruption. unrest you know just, yeah uh, rightfully so i mean a lot of st- a lot of terrible things were happening in our country and which kind of took a back seat for a little while uh kind of following the lead of a lot of artists that we look up to in the scene and and uh you know we don't know what to do so we we kind of just follow the lead of the ones that we look up sure. to so we released it in february and um you know there's not there wasn't a lot of stuff going on until around april or may so we kind of just been sitting on this album. We got a lot of copies, and we want to we want to take it out there and perform perform the songs for people and and share a few of our new stuff that we've kind of written in the meantime. But um, you know, it's been it was a tough year for a lot of people, but I think we made the best of it and got a lot of work done and our and a lot of stuff in our personal lives um, on track. And uh, a lot of good. fun stuff. We know that that's something I was kind of thinking about is and and we were talking about this earlier, Elliot, that. Um, you know, with with the whole of last year, everything kind of coming to a screeching halt, and and um, you were all for back lack of a better term, you were all stuck on the runway. Yeah, uh, what the hell were we talking about? Uh, so specifically, it was about how uh, there are a lot of established mid level bands out there that uh, they can kind of pick back up, um, but you were just in the process of taking off when everything fell apart, and you were mentioning that there are a lot of new acts that are coming up. And so everybody coming back all at once, it feels like you're starting kind of starting over or, or is that? No, not starting over. You know, there's bands that were pretty entrenched, been doing really well for a few years leading up to the COVID halt. Uh, you know, Boo Hag can just pick up where they left off because they're brilliant. Got a great following. Daddy's Beamer, White Hall, all those guys, the upper middle level, solid sure, South sure. Carolina, uh, yeah, but you know we're a little newer than that and have a little bit less of a following. And uh, you know, for bands in our level, it's just uh, it's, it's not any harder than anybody else, I suppose. But uh, you know, we're still trying to establish, so you feel like you got to start from zero again. Uh, but it not feels totally. That way. Yeah, you know, it's just it's just a weird zone to be in. We're not brand new, right? But uh, you've been around for yeah. a while, but it, but at the same time. Uh, you were just you were still in the process of establishing your presence yeah, yeah. i feel like wow. we were hitting our stride yeah uh, we were getting really incom- comfortable uh, in front of people and, and comfortable with our music and and kind of finding um the nuances of the songs uh you know it, we kind of we were just get, we were progressing well you know and and that actually this kind of brings me to a question i wanted to ask you because uh so we've got in our, uh, the show is Patreon, and in our Patreon Discord, uh, we have a section where um, you know, where our designated inquisitors can submit questions that make it onto the show. So uh, Woodle asks, um, it, so y'all have been able to play shows in Greenville and Asheville, you know, before and, and currently getting started again. Um, are those experiences mostly the same between the two scenes, uh, specifically what what differences do y'all see between the two scenes? Big differences. I'm in Asheville. You're in Greenville. You're in Greenville. Big big differences, don't you think? I think it's uh, and you, big. You go back and forth to Asheville all the time, so you understand how it is. It's just uh, it's dif- just different. For instance, as of the most difference uh, differences as of late is that South Carolina venues opened up sooner than North Carolina venues. The audiences 
I feel like in Asheville, they're more willing. They're they're wanting to see art. They want to see new. They want to see original stuff. Sure. In Greenville, the I mean, the most popular band I think around right now is is Randomonium slash Neon Arcadia slash some three Rando Trio mm. something. Anyway, <laughs> they they uh, uh, their shows are packed. I'm jealous. Um, but <laughs> I feel like the Greenville scene, they want to, you know, they want to hear like the, the classics and maybe not be as loud so they can hold a conversation. But every time I've played in Asheville, um, man, those, the, the, the artists up there, they really want to see what you got. And yeah, and, there's, uh, there's something about, you know, packing out static age, for instance, Yeah, man, it's just, it's good. It just feels, it seems like really people cool. just are ready to experience all kinds of forms of new art in Asheville a little more than in Greenville. Well, you know, uh, I think Greenville kind of took a big step back in terms of the arts and music scene in the past year. And so it, it seemed like over the past couple of years, things have built, built, built to a crescendo and, and, and it was just kind of a sudden, you know, silence. Also, I'm just going to say it. I kind of miss the old radio room. We need to fill that void again. You know, just like the ra- a, a dirty like. We need something. Yeah, with dirty. a terrible bar in the back. The old radio room was my favorite toilet. Yeah, that's right. Like you, it was mandatory <laughs> to take a shower when you got home. I mean, it wasn't an optional. Good. You don't go to bed without taking a shower. That's first right. After the old th- radio room, I don't think I would. I, you know, if you asked myself ten years ago, would you ever say that? I, I would be like, no, I hate this place. <laughs> but uh, and but I love what the radio room has become. But I really do miss that sort of like it felt a lot more DIY, um, just party. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, ah, we were younger too, but yeah, still. no doubt. Yeah, but still, I guess you always price of success. So. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's a. Uh, I th- feel like the most fun I had playing um, recently was we played a show at this thing called Frisky Park LLC. Uh, <laughs> LL- LLC. Oh, in uh, <laughs> Frisky Park is in Central. Yeah, uh, Clemson area. Um, man, it was just something about. Everyone standing in a in a kitchen in a in a living room, it, with the familiar surroundings, you're you're more likely to get a little loosey goosey rather than when I I feel like when I'm in the radio room and I'm around people I don't really know I kind of just like stand there and and nod my head I don't want to look too uncool, you know. But I felt like when we played this 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 more of a house show feel, people were way more relaxed and open to kind of get a little loose yeah. and get a little crazy um and get lost in the in the whichever band was playing i really enjoyed it so is that something you would you prefer to play more house shows more intimate settings in no the doubt future? without a doubt yeah. yeah we started make yeah like the exact same that show was pre-covid you know so uh that thing was it was happening more yeah i don't know who's doing house shows now as many uh, you know i know melon barn is a uh Oh yeah, it's DIY, very DIY, and, and DIY. Yeah, you see videos from that place. It's like, man, I just yeah, I can't wait. That. I can't one wait to get that. out there and see a yeah. show. Not not even play one, just be there in yeah, the audience. Yeah, I've been meaning to get out there for a while. I wanna I wanna experience that. Are we old? Will they th- will they allow us to come? Uh, you know, I mean, look, we're all in our thirties. Well, except Wayne, he's entering his seventies now. Yeah, um, oh. yeah, you can't come, Wayne. You're not, you're not cool. <laughs> oh, they don't have Where's a wheelchair them? accessible <laughs> door. But uh, I just no. burped. I tried to disguise it. I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. I, being old, being being older doesn't. I don't think it precludes us from from DIY shows. I, I, you know, I, I used to go to shows at Pablo from time to time. When nice. Tom, rest in peace, Pablo. Um, but uh, man, I would feel like weird. I was like, oh man, I'm I'm the oldest person here. I'm like I'm 32, and all these kids are in college, jumping around, having a good time. Then I'd look over and I'd see like you know some middle-aged suburban dad or grandpa there and i'm like oh no yeah this is cool yeah, this dads is liked rock and roll first so they, that's you know true. <laughs> I mean, it's our dads so, that introduced us to exactly. it. exactly thanks thanks to the dads well really. speaking of dads introducing us stuff um, and moms and moms yeah what are the um what are the the influences that you're working with what, what are the things that inspire you when you're when you wrote uh big as the sky and uh, when you're working on other um other songs for your next potential releases things like that well it's kind of turned into a joke everyone kills me about it but i do listen to a lot of the strokes (laughs) there we go i was (laughs) waiting for it um geez i listen to a lot of different music a a lot of pop music um you know when i met you you didn't you didn't really listen to as much pop music 
Oh yeah, uh, Delaney Kern has had an uh, yeah, she's had an influence, <laughs> my fiance, and that's so cool because she she shows me songs that you know I never would have thought to listen to, and I just find such an appreciation uh, for for a lot of newer artists and and um, and pop music in general. I just uh, I enjoy it uh, more than I ever have before. So that probably has influenced me a lot. Uh, the songs, the songs on this last album, a lot of them are somewhat like morbid or a little angry. Uh, just who I was for the past decade, I guess. Uh, just anxious and 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 uh, and kind of angry and g- just going through a lot of stuff, relationships and and heartache and and trials and and a terrible accident. But but yeah. these new songs that are coming about. They seem a little more positive, uh, which is cool. I think the band is is evolving. Uh, every every month, it seems like we're writing a new song that it has. It just I don't think I would play something like that in the past, but I'm digging it. It's been a journey, and um, I think we'll see what happens. Ultimately, everybody's favorite songs are the ones we wrote more collectively. Yeah, because they're fresh. Rochambeau and Figure It Out were kind of um, newer songs as a band. Yeah, but then there's certain people who love all I can ask, and it's like the oldest song, so you know, right? I mean, that's it's all subjective, yeah. I guess. Cool little ghost. I don't know. <laughs> I I really love that's the song, song Three to One, and oh, that's uh, not y- out you yet. haven't even released it. Yeah, yeah. yeah a lot of the songs will we will perform before they're truly done and set in stone. Sure. And I kind of take that page from stand-up comedy because if you if you follow a comedian, he or she may have a joke you know, that evolves over time. Like they change, they change the punchline or they change the order or they may even change the wording up. A a song really isn't finished set in stone for me and for, I guess the band now, you guys, um, until we put it down and record it. So I'm so, I'm so apprehensive to play new material in a, in a, in a forum like this, because I don't, I don't want it to be set in stone. That's why I was getting around to the, this uh, three to one. We performed that on the, hoodoo music pod and um i was just it just wasn't ready i wasn't yeah. ready to release it i think originally it was you gave me the okay to release it only to the patrons yeah and, and that was it and it was very well received people really like i and and i think what i really like about that song is that it, it comes from a it's a place of you wrote it from a place of of you know pain and healing but also it's it's just so it's so you yeah like it's it's you're bearing your soul in that song in a way that's just it's uh endearing and it's it's powerful it's pretty much just in me and song form first of all just telling my family especially i'm sorry uh uh, for for like all of my f-ups and um and saying i you know i love you and i'm gonna be around so it's a it's a personal song and i always when we perform it i I say it's for my family because I mean that's like I, the only people I really like wanted to hear that song and I wanted to hit them to hear the lyrics f- in in its final form, are, are my sister, my mom, and my dad, and uh, and uh, we've shared some private moments about you know those you know what I'm saying in there and they know they know what the deal is. Uh, we all love each other and and uh, it's not been perfect, but uh, that song really encaptures that mood, that emotion. Um, it's good. They they really enjoy that song, um, and they added so much to it. I mean, the rhythm section. I think I I was just a broken record in the last podcast, but how they they take my my song ideas, my riff ideas, and just completely take off with it. Yeah, and just turn it into something that. Geez, I have to I have to rewrite what I was thinking about this song, and it's fun. That's the that's the fun part about being a band is just being creative and. And trying it out in front of people and see how how they think about it. We we have a new song called Babe that originally we played with a with a band I really really looked up to and I was so excited to play with. His name is Billy Moon. Billy and, Moon in Canada, baby. Yeah, and he he kills it. Oh man, the band was good so dude. Good. good, such dude. a good guy to hang out with. And we tested out this riff, this song idea in a different form. Um, and it completely bombed. And I remember I right after, we, yeah, I was so embarrassed so after <laughs> yeah, this. After the, we finished playing the song, I was like, "Well, I did pretty yeah, good. still working on that one, I guess." Yeah. Um, and and almost two years later, we just from being creative and bringing it back to the the drawing board, 
Um, we kind of turned it into something way more new and fresh and a little more poppy. Uh, it's probably when I, you know what you're listening to kind of inf- uh, infects what you're what you're creative with. But uh, it's going great, man. I mean, uh, the 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 last year there were so many negatives, but from it, there, there, we I think we all became a lot closer with our significant others and um or else or yeah or else and uh we we all <laughs> focused on our our um you know pro- progressing in business in our own aspects and and trying to just make money and trying to set up a you know I'm I don't think I'm ever going to retire so I have to I have uh, to just been f- kind of fun yeah work's yeah. been fun works um, fun and um, that's another thing about us that that people might might find. I mean, we we are all m- very multifaceted people. The the f- her pilots like I talked about this the other day, and it really started hitting home. I don't put all of my identity in in this band. Sure, you know I'm not just Zach Young from her pilots that plays music. I mean, when we go out to parties and stuff, people like when they find out I'm a musician, like seems like everyone just hones in on that. But I mean, I love playing sports. I love being silly. Yeah, you were supposed to go do it. It was a kickball game. Time, yeah, and it ad- got rained out. Adult co-ed kickball. It's yeah. so fun. Uh, um, <laughs> um, it's just fun to, to kind of diversify and uh, and just have fun with the you know the ride of life. But uh, the the music is going great, it, and and some may people even ourselves might get caught up oh man we slowed down we were like we were on track to kind of maybe get to the next level but really i mean we're just kind of taking it as it it happens organically i don't know i think i'm less cynical these days and um the music is going to reflect that good stuff well let's hear some more of it and just when you i thought it was safe Shyland Flowers is on the next episode of Static Attic. If you want to support Static Attic, the best way to do that is www.patreon.com backslash static attic pod. That's patreon.com backslash static attic pod. See y'all next time. West Side. Alrighty. Um, this song is also on Big as the Sky. It's called Stop Hitting Yourself. We all beat each other up too much. Beat ourselves up, I should say. And Just quit that. You know, it's not good for you know, mental health and stuff. Uh, Yeah, don't beat yourself up. Well, I don't answer my phone after midnight. If you're dying, make it clean and quiet Well, I don't read my mail Those things can go unseen It's just spells and junk to me
time to find out Reach out, cast the doubt Talk about trying to stop hitting yourself So last year we uh, we invited some friends and tried to be as safe about it as possible, um, and did a uh, music video for this one with Brando Jones. Those guys are super fun to work with, and uh, they made it a great experience. Uh, this one's called "Figure It Out." <laughs> Should this go for a run? It will be long and troublesome. We gotta get going before they discover the truth. So grab your ship, let's go for a ride. It will be long and to go night. Mickey Mouse's radio frequencies are holding us in. Oh no! Yeah, we're gonna figure it out. It's all up to us now We're gonna figure it out The law will treat us the same huh? You broke the rules and she plays the game She knocked over pieces and the secret is spreading the town new one. My dad really liked pro wrestling growing up and uh, like one of the like folk legends like being raised as a child was this guy named Ric Flair you know from uh, I think Charlotte but uh, we had like even a Polaroid where my dad kind of like awkwardly took a picture of him <laughs> like the side of his hair uh, just random, but anyways, it kind of just came out while we were playing it, and I was like, oh, damn, that's sticking, so. Uh, I see that picture. It's about kind of being an asshole when needed. Just, you gotta say the truth sometimes. It doesn't make you a popular person. <laughs> So 
again, but can't do bullshit One has something that seems to say To hide your friends and think you're A piece of shit that needs to pay Yeah! For real, all these grand old assaulties Yeah, you're cool, you get it okay And we think you're attractive But you can't treat a lot of people this way All guilty on your bullshit What a sorry excuse to say To hide your friends and think you're A piece of shit, an easy lay Yeah! Guys, thanks again for being on the show. Uh, you know, I've really enjoyed talking with you tonight. Uh, it, it's, it's always a pleasure to hang out with any of you. Um, before we go, I wanted to bring up a topic. You you have uh, some lyric videos that have been coming out for some of the songs from your album. And um, uh, Yogurt, who does the lyric videos in the room tonight, uh, would you mind coming over and joining him on the couch? Squeeze yeah, in the come middle. In. Squeeze come on in, man. Come on over, Yogurt. yogurt. <laughs> Squish in. How many people call so you Yogurt, yogurt pun? for real? See on on PlayStation, yeah. on PlayStation I go by Freak Yogurt, but like Freak some Yogurt, call me Yogurt. So hell yeah, it's a play on Greek Yogurt. Yeah, yeah. Greek Yogurt. Yeah. Well, um, tell me a little bit about these lyric videos. Uh, how do, how do you typically? What's your process for creating them? Uh, so I've only done like a couple so far, but like I basically just wait till I just get an idea and I just go with it. Like I I kind of look at the song, like for. For example, Cool Little Ghost, which is like my favorite one I've done so far. Like that one, I just looked at the album, or I looked at the cover for the single. I was just like, okay, ghost. Then I just find some, I found this like, ghost. I found this, I found this like, ghost. I found like this stock footage of like these people, uh, like time in Times Square, and they were just like, yeah, they were just taking pictures and I was like oh, okay cool and then out of nowhere they just put on these bed sheets with shades on and I was like this is perfect so like, this is this is cool little ghost right here this is two cool little ghosts and I was like okay then I just took that idea and I just kind of ran with it you know yeah and it's just I don't know uh, the Rochambeau one I took um footage from the music video for that and I kind of just edited it you know made it just kind of did my little thing with it and uh and I also found some footage of them playing Rochambeau yeah, for the first pod from the first podcast. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was yeah. The first podcast. He stole your footage, bro. Hey, I use it. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great. I, you know, that makes me happy. Yeah, dude, uh, it was such a big surprise that we had no idea that these were coming, and he slapped Wayne sends us a link, and I kind of just I didn't even check it out at first, but then he, he sent it through the text, and I opened it, and I almost like wrecked my car. <laughs> 
because I was like, "What? This is this is amazing!" And I had, I mean, it, it, we appreciate it so much, man. It was so, it was no so problem. cool, and 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 to have those lyric videos on YouTube is just important to have a lot of people enjoy consuming their music that way, yeah. and they like reading the lyrics along with the the songs. A lot of a lot of people can't understand the lyrics maybe first run through, and, and when you actually can read them with the the music playing, it helps them kind of understand the song and maybe uh, maybe take something more away from it so big props man thank you so much hell yeah it's awesome i love you Um, nick how uh, where where can people find more of that kind of are you making more of that for other artists Uh, at the moment no like i i have actually like never made lyric videos before yeah are you open to doing more Uh, yes i am all right so if you hit your boy up Bye. That's right. <laughs> if you're in a band and you want some lyric videos, hit up Nick. Where can people find Freak Yogurt online? Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Facebook, everywhere. Freak Yogurt. Sweet. Is it everywhere. spelled? Uh, yeah, give them the handle. Freak Yogurt. F R E A K Yogurt. Boom. Y O G U R T. Yes, sir. I'm awesome. <laughs> a lot of spelling going on over here. <laughs> Let's get some sound effects. <laughs> 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 All right. Well. Word. Now Actually. we've talked about that. I want to okay. wrap things up and ask where people can find uh, where can people find her pilots Freak. online. Yogurt. Um, you can find her pilots online uh, on Instagram. Her pilots, one word. Um, we're on Facebook, the Book of Faces. Um, not Less on TikTok. Faces every day. Their right. That's true. Uh, people are leaving the the Book of Faces. But that's that's fine. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify. Get our listens up. Come on, listen to that album. Just leave it on. Definitely. Go to sleep. It's a great to album. It. That's right. Turn it on mute. Right. Babies Just let it like play. It, I think. <laughs> well, I, thank you everybody for tuning in to Static Attic. Make Absolutely. sure to follow her pilots and Freak Yogurt on everything, and uh, you know, give us a follow. Hey, if you want to uh, contribute to Patreon, it's Patreon.com/slash/StaticAtticPod. We are Static Attic Pod everywhere you go. Woo! Till next time. Thanks. Awesome guys. That's true. I try work is slow right now, so twenty bucks is twenty bucks. Wayne, that hat is ridiculous. And he's been wearing it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great hat. <laughs>